There's a lot of affinity, I would say, between the Museum of Spanish Abstract Art and the Meadows Museum, not least because they were founded in the same year, 1965. Fernando Thobel had a very specific vision for what he wanted to do with his museum and in collecting works by his colleagues and friends and making it a museum founded by artists and for artists. The two museums have uh, an affinity in this sense of, of reflecting this collecting and um, philanthropic impulse to not just collect but to share through a small focused museum. Lo que me parece interesante de esta exposición en el Medo, desde el punto de vista de la buena práctica profesional, es que parte de los proyectos anteriores, por ejemplo, la Tate eh, o el MoMA en los años 60 o el propio Guggenheim, eran proyectos de alguna manera muy auspiciados por las autoridades políticas. No es que de pronto Frank O'Hara se enamorara del arte español y decidiera eh, que el MoMA tenía que apostar. Era, era digamos, un encuentro entre el interés que tenían algunos funcionarios, yo no, ni siquiera lo llamaría política, algunos funcionarios del Ministerio de Exteriores por dar a conocer el arte abstracto español, que, que podía ser entendido como una especie de aperturismo del régimen, que era, no era democrático, era dictatorial, no era totalitario y por tanto permitía, permitía eso. Y en cambio esta exposición ha surgido porque una institución ligada al arte español como el Medos ha decidido que era el momento de hacerlo a gran escala. Lo ha entendido y otra institución profesional que tiene, como sabemos, eh, la responsabilidad de cuidar por el legado de esta gran colección de Fernando Zobel, lo ha entendido y lo hemos hecho juntos. It's also just an absolutely fabulous collection of mid-century Spanish abstraction. If we could take a kind of cross-section of what some of the most important avant-garde artists in Spain were doing in the 60s and 70s, th this is what we would see. We would see artists like Luis Feto, like Saura, like Tapies, like Palazuelo, uh, Rueda and Rivera, many more. None of the artists in the exhibition um, or in the in the collection of the Museum of Abstract Art, Spanish Abstract Art in Spain, um, none of these artists worked in a vacuum. None of them worked in isolation. They all knew they were participating in a larger tradition. They would have known Velázquez. They would have known Goya uh, through their works. So they're. They're the next stage in this progression, and it's easy to think of them as innovative and avant-garde and all of those things. They were those things, but they were also participating in a larger tradition, and here at the Meadows, you can see that more readily, thanks to the display of the permanent collection. He been very happy, and I've said to my people on WhatsApp, and to Lourdes, our restaurant that's been here, that the effort we made between 2006 and 2012 for poner en perfecto estado de revista toda la colección, o sea, con restauraciones, limpiezas, eh, acciones de conservación preventiva, reenmarcación. Aquí realmente es donde, como decimos en España, luce.